YouTube, welcome to Logo History. Hey guys, Retro Galaxy here. And welcome to the 27th episode of Logo Evolution. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Logo History. Hello guys, Kai here and welcome to the 7th episode of Logo History K. Hello there, it's me Carter, and today we're here to bring you episode number 5 of Logo History Collab Entry, my favorite series. What is up guys? Welcome to the 10th episode of Logo History. Hello everybody. Welcome to the 64th installment of Logo History. Hello everybody, I'm Miko Sanchez. Welcome to episode 8 of Logo History Showdown, based on Logo Battle by Peter John. Sorry it took you forever, but we are back, ready to bring you another great battle for you guys. I'm so happy that we're going to do it together, my friends. Let's go you guys. <laughs> And welcome back to another episode of Logo History Collab Entry. Good morning. And for this episode, we are taking a look at Sega. In this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at Sega. For this logo, we're taking a look at Sega. Bruh, that's not even the correct logo. <laughs> And today we're taking a look at Sega. 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 For this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Sega. So today, for this episode, we're gonna take a look at Sega. Bruh, this kid's making a video on Sega, and yet he's playing Nintendo music. Exposed. <laughs> And for this episode, we're going to have a look at Sega. Today I'm going to talk about Sega. For our first episode of the new year, and episode 8 of the overall series, we have a battle of the most popular video game companies. It's Nintendo vs. Sega. And so, and surprisingly enough, Sega is the next episode of Rock G0470's Logo History Collab. So, I'm part of this collab as well. So, get ready for it guys, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Sega was launched in the 1960s and was famous for Sonic the Hedgehog and also its consoles like the Dreamcast, Saturn, Genesis, and more. Here's the info about it. If you don't know what Sega is, it is a Japanese multinational video game developer and publisher headquartered in Shinagawa, Tokyo. Its international branches, Sega of America and Sega Europe, are respectively headquartered in Irvine. California and London. So, here's the show fighter you don't know what Sega is. Sega Generation here is a Japanese national video game and entertainment company. I go to Tokyo, I check in. Tokyo, you know. It's an international branch of Sega in America and Sega in Europe. It's an alien California and Monday. And Generation, it's a different show. And the book of Arcane Games and Home Video Games and Sega Games. It's a current stage in 2020 from 2015. To the point, to the point, there are two main different, and it's only known as Sega and Jurassic Code Limited. 
Sega version was originally a Sega Sega from 1989 to 2001. Sega was also the bottom of the video of game consoles. Here's the short bio if you don't know what Sega is. Sega Corporation is a Japanese multinational video game and entertainment company headquartered in Shinagawa, Tokyo. Its international branches, Sega of America and Sega Europe, are headquartered in Irvine, California, in London. Sega is a Japanese multinational video game developer and publisher headquartered in Shinagawa, Tokyo. But finally, in the blue quarter, SEGA! That is part of Rob G047L's logo history, logo history collab, and I'm proud to be part of this collab as well, so let's do it. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the website because I'm making this video late and I gotta make this video faster. Let's take a look at this for your static, for your area. And this website will be found at Sega.com, so let's take a look. Uh, we're gonna go exit right now. So, Sonic Borders! Yeah, out now. I can't do it right now. Because there's, uh, Endless Dragon, and this one coming soon. And, yeah. Let's take a look at SAS. Company name is Sega. Industries video game introduced on June 3rd, 1960, or should I say founded on June 3rd, 1960. Order of Sega Sending Holdings. Headquarters are in Shinagawa, Tokyo, Japan. If they don't have a slogan, website www.sega.com. Without further ado, let's start. But without further ado, let's get started. So without further ado, let's start right now. Now without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, now I'm going to talk about Sega. Now let's get into it, the logo history of Sega! We first started in Let's Begin. 1940 to 1954, there's no logo over here. On 1940 to 1951, uh, this logo is unknown. Uh, it's not... Available on the internet. 1940 to 1954. Unfortunately, I couldn't find this logo. 1940 to 1954. Here we have the logo of first Sega's name. Standard Games. Fortunately, there's no logo. 1940 to 1954. Here we have the first name of Sega, Standard Games. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 1940 to 1954, the coding was found at Standard Games, but I couldn't find a logo at the time, so sorry people. And she started a Standard Game. The Mac came forward in 1944. Sega was founded in 1940 as Standard Games to provide a movement game to military services in the United States. 1945 to December 1959. 
Sega was first known as Service Games. We have the word Service Games in black text. 1945 to 1959, we are only have Service Games only in black text. Nineteen forty five to nineteen sixty two. This oh yeah, this is called standard games. So it was changed to service games. So we have the word service games in signature text. Nineteen forty five to nineteen fifty nine. There's the word service games in black text. Nineteen forty five to nineteen fifty nine, we have the word service games with black text with the cursive font. Nineteen forty five to nineteen fifty nine. Here we have the second name of Sega, service games. There are the words service and games in black text. Nineteen forty five to nineteen fifty nine, they changed their name to service games. We just have the words service and games and black text, and that's it. Service games, nineteen forty five to nineteen fifty nine. We have Service and games in black with the S and V bigger. S E G A. Sega became operations of the service game on September 1st, 1946. Nineteen sixty four to nineteen seventy five we have the word Sega in a red text. And also we have this in a in a gradient form. Nineteen fifty six to nineteen seventy five. Service games was now Sega. We just have the word Sega in red text. 1956-1979, so this game changed to Sega. Sega is in red text. Here's the other person that's about to die. Well, I mean, it was finally changed to Sega. So we just had to support Sega Red Text. 1956 to 1975. There's the word Sega in Red Text. Nineteen fifty six to nineteen seventy five we have the word Sega in red text and the font has changed. Nineteen fifty six to nineteen seventy five. They finally changed its name to Sega. There is the word Sega in red text. Nineteen fifty six to nineteen seventy five they changed their name to Sega. There's just the word Sega in red text, and that's it. Here's a print version and a variant. Sega. Nineteen fifty six to nineteen seventy five. Yeah, Sega in red. This is always typically red and is not Using these new tickets invented by Sega. The Sega name is Port Muscle of Service Game first appeared two years prior to the company officially talking as its name on a slot machine produced by the company, the Diamond Star in 1984. Now, 1975 to 1982, this is starting to look like the um, version we see today. <clears throat> we also have the print version of this. And we also have the alternating version of this, with the G being slightly different. 1975 to 1982. We now have the word Sega in blue text. 1975 to 1982. Red changed to blue. Here's the other first ones. Nineteen seventy-five to nineteen eighty-two, we have the word Sega in 
like a CNN text in Zimbabwe. 1975 to 1982. There's the word saying that blue in the white outline. Nineteen seventy five to the present and nineteen seventy five to nineteen eighty two we have the word Sega in blue text and the font has changed. Nineteen seventy five to nineteen eighty two there is the word Sega in blue text and inside the letters there is a white line. Nineteen seventy five to nineteen eighty two the shots were Sega in blue text on the word uh, and on the text there are a bunch of transparent lines passing through the text. So that's all. Here's the print version, a variant, and the print version of a variant. Yeah, the cover with probably the most interesting. How the most interesting one? Yeah, but see, got the blue. Yeah, the white line going through all the words. On October, on October 11, 1975, Sega adopted the current logo, a blue one word mark, sometimes supporting a white border as with their previous logos. The ordinance designs are unknown, although it is thought to be derived from the. Yeah, Haggy double typeface, which is usually what you, which was largely used in the 1970s by companies such as KNXT, now KBCB, KCBS TV, and CNN, despite launching in 1980. Coincidentally, Nintendo also launches current logo that same year. Now, 1982 to the present, we have the word Sega, but in a white outline. We also have the print version of this. And also the inverted pr pr print version of this, which, which looks cool. We also have the alternating version of this. And also the um, dark version of this and the bright version of this. And this is the um, alternating version, kind of like the same thing. 1982 to the present, the logo was slightly modified. 1982 to the present, they changed the name to the front. Here's the other fishings. And finally, 1982 to the present, uh, same as the last logo, but it's more brighter, I think. And it's smaller. 1982 to the present, the logo is darker. Nineteen eighty two to the present, the logo has been modified. Nineteen eighty two to the present, the logo is thicker. Nineteen eighty two to the present, same as before, except the font has changed and the letters GNA are now connected. So that's it. Here's the print version, the uh, inverted print version of a variant. I know the uh, another print version of the logo. I know the dark blue version, the light blue version, the city anniversary version, another city anniversary version, yet another city anniversary version, and and we have a variant of this logo. We also have and we also have the rainbow version and the gray version. Nineteen eighty two to the present. Same as the last one, but the G, but oh, just modifications. Modifications were made to the word mark in 1982. The E is wider, and the G and the A are now fused together. Well, there had been slight tweaks to the logo. What was that? But the shape of the decades, the logo has remained largely consistent since the early 1980s, surviving its entry and eventual departure into the home console market and becoming a period gamer publisher.
Sega. Twenty twenty one to the present. The Sega is in black. Finally, just twenty one to the present. Just just for Sega in black text, used for Genion Sega Holdings. So I don't know what I'm supposed to say, but let me check it out. What is it? Am I right? I was wrong. It's for Genda. It's for Genda. Sega Entertainment, sorry. Jenna Sega Entertainment, so I'll remember that. Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 44. Capcom. Bye bye Thanks for watching this episode of Logo Evolution. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for episode 28, where we take a look at Blue Sky Studios, as a tribute to them. Goodbye. And now here's Adelie J. Hi there guys, Adelie J here. I hope you all enjoyed the Love Mystery, so be sure to subscribe to Big Number 2, as you always think. So, what did the summer hit track have dropped to in 1991? So, into the introductions of the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, we used the Sonic the Hedgehog, we used Green Hair Zone, Marble Hair Zone, Spring Hair Zone, Rainbow Zone, Sonic the Stronger Zone. episode of logo history and i'll see you guys later for the next episode make sure to like subscribe and also if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit that red subscribe button make it great and if you already have subscribed please forget everything that i've just said bye all right that was it for today's episode but stay tuned for the next one where i talk about your choice just abide by the rules anyway until the next one Bye. That's it for today. Thanks for watching an episode of Logo History Showdown. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be on the lookout for more content coming real soon, including in the next episode of Logo History, where we'll be about Radio Bremen and our local reviews. We'll be taking a look at we'll be taking a look at CBS. Plus, we got a new episode of Logo Reviews coming your way as as we uh, as we got Tiki Terms with with Chop Chop and Doris. Plus, our new Boshi Monthly series is is coming out soon. The Boshi Twistmas Night Market series. We rate the we rate the Buster Zashi Space series. So I haven't seen yet. Go watch right now. But be on the lookout for that coming soon. And our new series Logo Re Evolution is coming real soon. Be on the lookout for that as well. But for now, I got it right here. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, You yourself. And I'll see you next time on Logo History Showdown. See you next time for episode nine. Stay tuned for the next showdown. It'll be the battle of the most popular CKE restaurants. Two restaurants owned by that same company, Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. But only one will wear the crown. Which happy star will reign supreme? Find out next time on Logo History Showdown. Until then, we'll catch on past episodes. There's a playlist for that. I'll put a link to the playlist up there at the top right corner so you can go click on it and watch it anytime you want. However you want. It's such a way. So go do it right now. Otherwise, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn notifications to miss this video. Please turn notifications to miss a new video for me as well. I wrote to 2,600 subscribers. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys again next time on Logo History Showdown. I'll be going to sign off. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the video. Later. You move forward to the episode of Logo History Club and I see you tomorrow and I see you next time, I mean for the next episode. Bye. <sighs> Finally, a good night's sleep.